Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the video series of past paper questions of O level physics 5054. In this video, we'll discuss paper 1 questions related to the topic reflection of light. Before I begin, I would like to suggest you that to get most out of this video, you should try to solve this question yourself first. Read the question, pause the video, think upon it, try to solve the question and then again assume the video to see whether your approach is right or wrong. So here we have first question. This is question from October, November 2020, paper 1, variant 1, and this is question number 27. So three objects, P, Q, and R, are placed in front of a plane mirror. The student's eye is positioned as shown. Which of the images of P, Q, and R can the student see in the mirror? Now pause this video and try to solve this question. The images of the object will be equidistant from the mirror. Means the image of P will be here. Image of Q will be here. Let it call me P dash. This is Q dash. And this is R dash or R prime. Now, we have to draw the rays from these images to the student's eye. Let me use the ruler for it. Okay, so this will be the ray from image P dash to the eye. And the ray from P to the mirror will be. So, P object can be seen by the student eye. Now, let's talk about Q. This will be the ray from the image of Q to the eye. This is the reflected ray and if we draw the incident ray, it will be like this. So the ray will go from here, it will be reflected from the mirror and will go to the student's eye. Now let's talk about the image of R. If we try to draw a ray from the image of R to the eye, you can see that this ray does not intersect the mirror. It means that the image of R cannot be seen by the student's eye because we cannot draw the incident ray. The incident ray will not fall on the mirror. So we can see image of P, we can see image of Q, but the image of R will not be visible. So the option B will be the right answer. Our next question is question 23 from October, November 2020, paper 1, variant 2. A plane mirror on a vertical wall forms an image of an object placed in front of it. Which characteristics describe the image? It's a very simple question. Please pause the video and solve the question. Okay, I hope you would have done that. Let's check option A. Real inverted. No. The image is behind the mirror. It is a virtual image. You cannot capture it on the screen. So option A and option B in which it is stated real are eliminated. Option C. Virtual, upright and smaller than the object. The image is virtual, it is upright, but it is not smaller than the object. It is your daily experience. You see yourself in, your, in the mirror. In the mirror, you look of the same size, not smaller than your actual size. So C is also not the right option. Option D is virtual, upright, and the same size as the object. This is the right answer, option D. Okay, next question is question number 24 from May-June 2019, paper 1, variant 1. 
a ray of light strikes a plane mirror at an angle of incidence of 20 degree the angle of incidence is then increased by 5 degree what is the new angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray new angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray please pause the video and try to solve this question okay geez. this question says that the first it was as an at an angle of 20 degree and then angle of incidence is increased by 5 degree so angle of incidence becomes 25 degree the angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray from the law of reflection we know that the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection so when angle of incidence is 25 degree angle of reflection will also be 25 degree and the angle between incident ray and the reflected ray will be 25 degree plus 25 degree suppose this is incident ray and this is reflected ray if this angle is 25 degree and this angle is 25 degree the angle between incident ray and the reflected ray will be the sum of these two angles 50 degree so the answer is option D okay our next question is question number 24 from October November 2019 paper 1 variant 2 an object O is placed in front of a plane mirror. I is the image formed. A ray from the top of the object is incident on the mirror at X. What happens to this ray? Okay, please pause the video and try to answer this question. Right ray from the top of the object is incident on the mirror at x the ray from the top to x what happens to this ray it reflects and passes through the bottom of o it no it reflects but it does not pass it through the bottom of o because it will be reflected in such a way that angle of reflection will be equal to the angle of incidence so it will be somewhere here so it does not pass from the bottom of O it option B it reflects and passes through the top of O again it does not passes from the top of O let me put the arrow signs okay <clears throat> it reflects as it came from the bottom of i the ray is coming from the top so it will not reflect as it came from the bottom of i it reflects as it came from the top of i this is the right answer because it will be reflected like this this will be the ray diagram So option D is the right answer. 